Good day everyone, Tase Bado here. We are now this May 3rd, 2024 NBA Game Day. We have a couple of games for today and these are going to be very crucial and very exciting games. Now to kick things off, let's talk about this um, Orlando Magic going up against Cleveland Cavaliers game. Uh, and that will happen at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 7 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. This is game number 6 of their series. Currently, Cleveland Cavaliers uh, are up 3 games to 2. Again, that will be 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. And as we all know, we actually provide free picks right here in our YouTube channel. But for those who are also interested in uh, putting bets on baseball or, or specifically MLB, you can also reach us through Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, or even Messenger account. Just take a look at uh, the descriptions of our videos and you would see the details right there. Now going back into the game, the spread that is given is minus 4 and that's given towards Orlando Magic. Orlando Magic, they will have the home court advantage on this. But in terms of momentum, we got to give it to Cleveland Cavaliers as Cleveland Cavaliers actually won uh, game number five as they escaped with that one-point win against Orlando Magic. Now, let's take a look at the health and availability for both teams, all right? Starting with, the, starting with um, Orlando Magic, uh, Gary Harris is actually listed as questionable or at game time decision for this particular game. Well, for uh, Cleveland Cavaliers, it's pretty much the same thing, you know. Uh, Dean Wade, Craig uh, Porter, and Ty Jerome are all listed out for this game, while Jarrett Allen is listed as uh, questionable or at game time decision for this game number six. Now, obviously, Orlando Magic, they are the healthier team, um, and they have, uh, I mean, they, uh, they, they do have this uh, roster which have more um, available players on, on, their, on their lineup, so... <laughs> Obviously, the advantage is with the Magic. This is going to be an interesting, uh, an interesting game as one team is actually about to lose uh, their season. If ever uh, they would lose, still, and obviously that's Orlando Magic. Now, um, for those who have been following this series, it has been a, it has been a trend, and the trend is whoever is playing at home wins. That's basically the trend. Now, if we would take a look at uh, the spread, which is minus four, again, that's given towards Orlando Magic. I'm just a bit, you know, I'm just a bit uncomfortable uh, in, in siding with Orlando Magic because um, if you guys were able to watch game number five, uh, wherein Cleveland won that game, um, they did win, and they did win without Jarrett Allen, you know. And obviously, um, for those you know, for those who follow or for those Cleveland fans out there, we all know that Jarrett Allen is a double double machine, around 16 points, 10 rebounds. So they missed the services of Jarrett Allen, yet they still won. I know it was just a one point win, but still, they were able to survive Orlando's barrage or Orlando's attempt to come back into the game. Now, onto this game, we ain't sure if Jarrett Allen will be playing or not, but one thing's for sure. Um, and one thing, uh, there's one thing that Cleveland Cavaliers showed on that particular game, and that they can actually win without Jared Allen. Now, I'm not saying or I'm not implying that uh, Cleveland Cavaliers will win the game, because again, with how with how this game, I mean, with the, how this series goes, whoever is at home wins. That's you know, that's the that's the trend. What I'm trying to say here is that, um, especially especially now that they do understand um, that they could win. Especially now that um, the, the their veterans off the bench uh, are aware and are you know um, are actually prepared that their number may be may be called just like what happened in game number five. I'm talking about Morris Senior. He actually played well. He scored like 12 points. Um, Tristan Thompson uh, logged in like seven minutes, eight minutes. He didn't score. A, he didn't score. I don't think he scored, but you know he grabbed like a rebound. He had some steals. He had some assists. So those veterans are actually prepared, and whenever you call, you call their numbers, man, they have enough um, experience that you know they know how what to do, and they you know they will do what they can to help their team win. So I'm um, on this particular uh, um, on this particular game. I'm siding with Cleveland Cavaliers with the plus four. Yes, I understand Orlando Magic highly likely will win the game, but um, I think this one will be close. Unlike you know, unlike the. Uh, the first four games were in 
you know, pretty much it's been domination by by, by the home by the home team. I think this is gonna be different. Um, again, um, there's there's a huge possibility that Orlando Magic will win the game in force number seven, game number seven. But um, I feel like uh, Cleveland Cavaliers would actually keep this one close. So I'm taking Cleveland plus four in here. I'm also looking for Donovan Mitchell to you know to to give his all to try to end this series on this game number six. So my pick on this one would be um, Cleveland Cavaliers with the plus four on it. And man, hold on, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe Allen will also be playing. So. Just you know, hold on real tight. Again, that's Cleveland Cavaliers plus four. Peace out. Pass I love it. God bless.